we're on our way down to a card show in uh, Metairie, which is a suburb of New Orleans. It's about an hour away. It started at 9 a.m. It's about uh, 11.30. We're getting a little bit of a late start. Two of my kids had soccer games. You guys know I'm a soccer dad, so I had two games at 9 o'clock up in Baton Rouge, but we're heading down to a little show. It's about, a, I think, maybe a 40, 50 table show. I don't have great expectations. I'm uh, bringing some little slabs, nothing big, a few, you know, some $50, $100 slabs. We we'll try to turn some of these into maybe one or two big cards. I did bring a little chunk of cash uh, for the show just in case I find something that I'm looking for. You know, a Jordan, a LeBron, a Giannis, a Lillard, a Shaq. You know, maybe maybe I'll find a diamond in the rough. What I've learned from uh, these little baby Louisiana shows that oftentimes it's uh, heavy baseball and football. Most of the shows are heavier vintage. Um, so uh, basketball gets kind of put on the back burner down here for whatever reason, but uh, but that's the plan right now, and I'm gonna get some more uh, get some more footage for you guys so you know what this show looks like. But take a look. We're uh, we're on the Pontchartrain Bridge right now, which is uh, goes over Lake Pontchartrain, which is you know right adjacent to a whole bunch of Louisiana swamp land. So we've got about an 11 mile bridge here leading into New Orleans, and then we'll roll up to the show. The show's out of Ramada Inn. Uh, I have not been down here, but I've got a bunch of fun uh, friends down here in Louisiana who are uh, in New Orleans who are collectors, and they've asked me to come down here, so I'm really looking forward to seeing them and uh, some really good collectors down here that I've become friends with. So this is my first chance to come down here and see one of these shows in New Orleans, so I'm, I'm excited about it, even though it's, uh, it's a pretty small, small show. So I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. Um, uh, and, uh, and let you know what we pick up and if I can move some of these slabs and get some deals done and if we see any cards that kind of catch my eye I'll definitely try to get something on video so uh, stay tuned alright guys I just wanted to give you a quick look at some of the stuff I'm bringing a couple of slabs that I got back from PSA nothing crazy nothing special uh, just a quick kind of breakdown what I got I do have this one that I brought to the National I never could move that you know a little bit of I mean, again, it's mostly small, small stuff. KG, Topps Rookie, Penny Draft Redemption, PSA 10, a Penny 9. Slick Silver Penny, which is a cool card, just featured on Explore the Cards. Some Shacks, cool Yao Ming die cut. Nothing crazy here, low end slabs. I'm trying to just consolidate, walk out of here with some cash uh, that I could put into some bigger cards. I got a couple of football PMGs. You guys know how much I love my PMGs. Some really clean PMGs too, by the way. Jordan Scoring King 7. And then uh, here, get a look in here. That's all garlands. So a bunch of prism, silver, revolution garlands. Uh, you know, just some extras, nothing high end. So trying to move some of this stuff and then consolidate it and see what happens. That's it. Hey guys, just uh, kind of giving you an update on what I picked up down here at this New Orleans show. So uh, nothing crazy um, and really not much basketball related. There honestly wasn't a lot of opportunity here. I did uh, trade about mm, 65 ultra modern PSA 9s and 10s for uh, $1,425 cash. Uh, so it was nice to move some of that ultra modern stuff that I was telling you guys about. Some of the stuff I showed you in the trunk of my car. So. I moved a bunch of that stuff. I still can't move this Magic Johnson gold, uh, but let me show you what I did uh, What I did mess with. So um, let me see if I can turn this camera around. So picked up this Lionel Messi. Um, where am I? There we go. Prism World Cup right there, BGS 9.5. Picked up this Cristiano Ronaldo, 60 bucks each for those, which is a little bit under comps, I think, from what I could tell on Card Ladder. Snagged this little Lillard here. Sorry, let me get it right there. The orange uh, Lillard Select. Those are numbered to 60. Picked that up for uh, 30 bucks. And then uh, the one decent Lillard that I did pick up that I did overpay for was this uh, this one right here. So hopefully y'all can see that card right there. That is his uh, 2013 Innovation Stained Glass, but it is actually the gold and it's mislabeled. So unfortunately, um, I'm gonna have to send that one off to, uh, to PSA. I don't know if y'all got to check that out. I'm trying to turn my phone around and do this, so. Hopefully that uh, that works and y'all can hear it. Anyway, that's kind of it. That's a wrap. So nothing special here, nothing big. But happy to add that Lillard stained glass gold. I need to uh, re a pain in the ass, but um, pretty decent sized card right there.
Thanks, guys.